Uh, in continuing with our series on YouTube, where we share sim- direct radiology spotters and simple images, which you can expect in your exam as a radiology resident or as a PG aspirant, you can get them in your exams. Today, we'll discuss a, a spotter called as omphalocele. Now, to understand how it would come in your exam, this is how an antenatal ultrasound of the fetus looks like. How do I know this is antenatal ultrasound? You can see this is the placenta. You can see the amniotic fluid all around. You can see this is the fetal abdomen. And from the ventral side, you can see this is the defect in the ventral abdominal wall, anterior abdominal wall defect, through which the liver is seen herniating out. Now, let us try and confirm this on a sagittal image. This is a sagittal ultrasound image, long axis view. You can see the placenta here. You can see the amniotic fluid. You can see the fetal chest, the cardiac chambers, the spine. Now once you know this is the spine and this is the head end of the baby, this is the heart, this is the posterior part, this is the anterior part. And so I'm I'm sure you will appreciate that this is the anterior abdominal wall defect. This is not a meningocele. Okay. So that is the key. Look at the spinous process in the exam. And you know we are looking at the ventral abdominal wall and this is the liver herniating out covered by the membranes. So what is our diagnosis? The final diagnosis is omphalocele. So what exactly is omphalocele? Omphalocele is an anterior abdominal wall defect through which the abdominal contents protrude into the base of the umbilical cord. And that contents are covered by the parietal peritoneum, a bit of Wharton's jelly and amnion. Different etiologies are believed to be for different type of omphalocele. If the omphalocele has predominant liver, that is probably due to a defect in the formation of the lateral folds. Or if it is predominantly containing bowel, that is probably because of failure of the abdominal contents to return to the abdominal cavity by 12 weeks of gestation. So what are the key things that we need to know about? One of the key things that we need to know about as a resident or as an undergraduate is what is the difference between a condition called as gastrocysis and omphalocele. The key words that you need to know is, in omphalocele, the defect is central. In gastrocysis, it is right paraumbilical. It is paracentral. In gastrocysis, there is no covering sac. In omphalocele, you have a covering sac. Also remember, because there is no covering sac in gastrocysis, then you will see free floating intestinal lobe in the amniotic cavity. On the other hand, omphalocele will be seen as a firm mass, which would include bowel and liver, like we saw in this case. Another point to remember is, because in gastrocysis, the bowel loops are free floating in the amnion, so more complications are gastrointestinal, while omphalocele is more associated with chromosomal abnormalities, trisomy 18 being the characteristic one and cardiac defects and bladder extrophy. So chromosomal abnormalities are more common in omphalocele. Now imagine a patient with omphalocele in which the even the chest wall is defective. So look at this baby. You can see a central abdominal wall defect and you can also see the cardiac chamber is out. So there is sternal defect with ectopia cordis. Okay. So there are cardiac defects, sternal abnormalities and the ectopia cordis is there. Such association of omphalocele is called as pentology of cantrel. So these are some key words to be understood from this spotter. This spotter was omphalocele, which is a ventral abdominal wall defect at the base of the umbilical cord. Thank you very much. And kindly, we would again emphasize that we are sharing a lot of educational videos on DAMS Daily channel on YouTube. Please subscribe to that channel. Thank you very much.